the proceedings in uh, Meru County Assembly were political in nature, but they had to comply with provisions of the Constitution mm -hmm. and the law. The MCS impeached the governor three times. Three times, the Senate twice, it did not agree with the MCS. Yes. The third time, it has agreed with the MCS. The standard of proof at the MCA level and at the senator is not the standard of proof that the courts will want to see. Mm -hmm. The law has provided for grounds to impeach a governor. Those grounds, when they are being dealt with politically, the vote it is about the majority votes. Reasons for impeachment are never taken care of seriously. If the Senate and the Assembly decides that they don't want the lady because she has long hair, that will be ground for impeachment. It is a political process. But now the Constitution provides for legal mechanisms to check whether there is an abuse of the due process mm -hmm. in the County Assembly and in the Senate. Those who are alert saw my good senior lawyer as a uh, uh, ongoer mm -hmm. disappear from the proceedings after he realized that the politics has already decided his, his client must be impeached. He must have gone to prepare the pleadings. A good lawyer will always have a plan B. Mm -hmm. In the event or in the unlikely event, mm. this thing happens. Do I have a recourse? So the lawyers of the governor had prepared for in the unlikely event they lose. So they made their pleadings. They only inserted the number of votes <coughs> and filed that certificate of agency. Mm -hmm. The court acted within the law, understanding and taking cue of what happened in Wajir when the governor was impeached. What happened in with Governor Sonko, where impeachment ended. And there was a judge waiting at 8 a.m. The gazette was done, gazettement was done mm -hmm. at midnight. Mm -hmm. And the new governor, Kanan, was sworn before the courts started sitting. So the courts have taken notice of how politics is played. So, what I will advise and what I saw is that the people wanted the governor out were not smart. The lawyers outsmarted them. Because if they sought and looked at the history of how impeachments are done, the deputy governor was supposed to be sworn in at 3, 3 a.m. By or four okay. a.m. Okay, hang on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we are looking at a process that well that yeah. went well into the night, well into the morning. Yes. Mm. Okay. Um, so what you're saying is that there should have been preemption on the side of the courts. No. Or there should have been preemption the, on the side of the okay. county government, mm. or preemption on the side of advocates to make sure that certain processes took or place in order to mm. avoid. A an court. appeal mm -hmm. going to court because because Amazon King actually did gazette. Amazon King is a senior advocate. He was gaze gazetting what has already been overtaken by events. All right. There is a court order stopping execution <coughs> of the decision of the Senate. Where the dilemma is is that a judge has stayed the implementation of Governor Kawira's Oster. Mm -hmm. It is another judge who can only swear mm. Kawira in. No judge will disobey an order of another judge. If it was a senator or if it was the speaker of the, of the Senate going to swear in Kawira, then we will say they will defy and proceed with that. What we are saying, several lessons that are coming out is that we need a law to say after impeachment 
an impeachment is like a general election. The president is not sworn in immediately. The Kibaki fiasco, where elections were declared and Kibaki was sworn in at night, we cured it by saying before, after the election, there are days specified to allow anybody to move to the Supreme Court to challenge the decision of IBC. Once that decision comes out, then a program for swearing in of the president is specified the time between 10 to 2. So there is that lacuna in governor's position. Is there no way that would have been turned overturned? Because here you are saying that a particular scenario could have come about because you're saying that somebody should have been prepared to swear in the deputy governor. Right? It, to swear, two, in the, to swear in the deputy governor are two, at 3 a.m. There are two sides of this coin. The lawyers who wanted, and the MCAs who wanted the governor out, slept on their job. They have lost. The lawyers who are defending the governor has, have pulled a fast one <laughs> and succeeded to secure a breathing space for their client. For 15 days, I mean, what happens after that? If you look at the Embu fiasco, <laughs> the governor, the former governor of Embu, was impeached from the Embu County Assembly, <clears throat> was impeached at the Senate, he got the first reprieve of 15 days at the High Court. He stayed in office until the next general election. Mm. Because from now, that matter being heard, the lawyers of the governor will not be ready to proceed. <laughs> they will be raising very many applications after applications. The date that matter is going to be argued. I'm sure the lawyers will be filing another application saying this matter raises very constitutional heavyweight. We need a free bench judge. That matter must go to the chief justice. Free judge bench. To decide. Mm. That is time. <laughs> From there, it will proceed. Remember how long the BBI took? Mm. Five, four years. Uhuru started it with black hair. Mm. It ended. He had white hair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the finance bill started. We are still in the drama at the Supreme Court. So, Kawira, if, and I know the lawyers of Kawira are sharp, mm. they are likely to sustain her through the court orders for another two, three years. And uh, she might be seeing 2027 as, as a governor. Right. The legal process is slow, painfully slow. It is what Kenyans chose.